Hello everybody, my name is Yoshi, and welcome back to Let It Die. This is the second part of this show, episode, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I am going to get right back into it, so I'm supposed to be selecting a fighter now, and I'm just going to be seeing if we're going to be playing the same thing again. So, I guess we're about to find out. She gets back up, and she's ready to rumble. So I believe that there's going to be a little bit more to this game than what I thought. It seemed almost played like a demo. But, I guess we'll find out. Let's play the oh yeah, see? Now that I don't have to meet that guy, now i got to make my way up to the top. Alright, so here we go. Now, what? Yeah, it is a little bit different already. So, already what I know is that... In this game, we are in this building, we're trying to make it to the top, and there's supposed to be some sort of treasure at the top. Oh, there's people, oh, there's someone dancing. And I can't, oh, what's this say? Okay, so, this is the waiting room, uh, the hub of your adventure. This is the waiting room of Station Bottom of Barbs, the last stop of Line 15. Okay. Uh, situated under the Tower of Barbs, this room contains many interesting features. Just what are we waiting for, you ask? <laughs> Just what are you waiting for, you ask? Perhaps the question should be, what is waiting for you? Yes. Quit game. When you want to quit playing, select back to title for the options when you are ready to, when you are in the waiting room. If you quit the game outside the waiting room, it will be treated as death. So please be careful. Oh, so I gotta make sure I come back here before I quit any game. All right. So I'm gonna take Miss Plumber Butt and have a look around in this waiting room. So I can go. This is like <laughs> the bathroom, but what is this? People tied? Is this people tied to the shitter? Oh, and. And you can either way you go brings you back here and you cannot open any of these oh this door is open the door is open but you still cannot go inside of it and these doors you can't go in and you cannot use any of the urinals so what about these toilet or uh, these sinks all the broken mirrors so this room seems like it's absolutely worthless well, all right, people. Now that we went through the worthless bathroom of nothing, let's go see what this girl dancing on the pool uh, is doing. All right, so this is the Mushroom Club. This shop opens after you rescue the Mushroom mas uh, Magistrate. Magistrate, the owner of the shop. This will deal with skill decals, 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 skill decals formed from mushroom powder. What is a skill deck? What are skill decals? Attaching decals to a fighter's body will benefit the player with various effects. There are many designs and functions. Once a decal is attached, if the fighter dies or if the decal is removed, it will disappear. Purchasing. You can buy skill decals by using kill coins. So every time I kill people, I get a bunch of coins, I guess. You can sell skill decals in the possession. Since you can't get rid of them, you may also, you may as well sell those you have no use for. Trading. If you bring bronze skill room, skill shroom, silver skill shroom, or gold skill shroom, the magistrate will seeking, or is seeking to the store. She will trade them for skill decals. Mushroom stew. You can spend kill coins to drink some mushroom stew, which the mushroom magistrate will put her heart into making. As a bonus, a premium decal is always inside. These decals are different to standard ones. They will not disappear if the fighter they are attached to is killed. Alright then. So, can I buy? Oh, how I've been waiting for you, wow. fellow Why can't I hear it in my headphones? Okay, so I can buy a decal, but I don't have any the money, so... The 
secret of my success. The secret of my success. I don't have any money. Come again. So I really can't do that anyways. So, and I am having so much problems. I don't know, not know why I cannot hear in my headphones. I can hear the music, but I can't hear the voices. And that's very strange. So, I'm getting stuck on stuff. <laughs> yeah, I do not know why. It works in everything else except for not on my. Well, I guess we'll go there. So much to read. Uncle Prime. Can I drive that? This is a service where Uncle Death will deliver the player presence on his beloved Death Mobile free of charge. It's not just a login bonus, it's Uncle Prime. Box contents? The contents of the boxes are random. You must be excited to find out what's inside. So fling open any box you see. Cool. Let's open that. And what we have inside? Oh, he is. she is excited. Two-handed weapon. Required. Hit points, 200. Excellent. Do I have that? Hmm. All right, so now what do we got here? Now, gear elements. There are six types of equipment. Slashing, blunt, piercing, fire, lightning, and poison. Weapon types. You can hold up to two types of weapons at the same time. It's important to pay attention to the type of armor they, the enemy is wearing and manage your weapons accordingly. Armor types. Armor has defense value that varies with the type. It's important to pay attention to the enemy's weapon and switch accordingly. Okay. I think I'm going upstairs now, but I'm just going to... So you can always... That's a balloon that you can just always read. Uh, there's so much here. Choku Fansha. Commodore Suzuki is the manager of the store. You can give him blueprints and materials that you find in the tower and ask him to develop equipment. Mm. After the equipment has been developed, it can be mass produced and sold in the store. Finding things to be sold in the store, however, is a player's responsibility. That's cool. If you obtain blueprints, if you play in blue trains, if you. If you have blueprints obtained from the tower in your death bag, when you enter Choku Fonshua, Fonsha, Commodore Suzuki will analyze them for you. Purchasing. You can purchase weapons and armor. You Once you have purchased a piece of equipment, it will be temporarily out of stock. Selling. You can sell items in your possession. R&D, which is research and development. If you gather materials specif specified by a blueprint, you will be able to request research and development. On such occasions, you will also require SP lithium, SP lithium, obtained from defeating a specific enemy. The research development will take some time. When the research is, is finished, the item will appear in the shop. You can, you can bought, you can. <laughs> and can be bought as many times as you need them. Strengthening. Once research has been conducted on a piece of equipment, you will be able to strengthen it. Materials are required each time you strengthen equipment. Because the equipment will blow up and die and all that kind of stuff. What is this now? There's so much reading. Storage chest! The storage chest is capable of holding any of the materials a player carries in a death bag including equipment, mushrooms, and beasts. All right, reward box. All reward boxes are placed in this box. In, a, in addition to login bonuses and pres presents from Captain Yotsuyama, make sure you to collect your prizes here and after you earn them. So much, man. Do I get anything? Taking an item? Yeah. I picked up three something. Pick three skulls. Uh, okay. Well, I'll leave that for now. Figure that one out later, right? So much, so much to do. Can't go with that door. 
It's crazy how much stuff you can actually do. Already. What's this? Did I miss this one? Cooking mushrooms. Okay. You will encounter mushrooms in this game, so let's take a look at how to prepare them. Cook mushrooms. You can cook mushrooms by grilling them. Select a mushroom in your possession you wish to grill. And click the left side of the touchpad button to switch to throw mo mode. In this mode, you can grill the mushroom by approaching a fire in the stage and pressing X. Some mushrooms cannot be grilled. You can also just throw them into the fire to grill them. Their effects change when you grill them, so be experimental with your cooking. It's so weird. So, so far this game is very strange and very weird. And very cool at the same time. There's so much to it that you can do. But I, I want to get into some fighting. So, I wish you would go up the stairs a little bit faster than that though. So, here we go. This is going to be the level 1 part of this. Oh, I wonder if that matters. I had my uh, microphone kind of facing this way instead of towards me and then now we'll know in this portion if it actually made a difference anyways all right so we're going up the stairs and this that's actually the loading phase of the game so instead of seeing something that says okay so we are in Igara 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 okay so this is different so I think I'm gonna have to open this I open this and it should release a monster or something I'm just kidding, I have no idea. <laughs> We're gonna open this door. So I really have no clue still what this game is really about. I know, I know, it's the future and people want to get to the top of this place and and they want to get the treasure set that are supposedly at the top. Allegedly, supposedly. That's the rumor. So I've been told. All that jazz. Okay, now what? Let's go. Can I just jump in here? So, are these people can get up off the ground? Look, there you are from before. Okay. The old you is nothing but a rage maniac now. You have to kill him before he kills you. Mm -hmm. Bitch. Getting me good. The old me was good. The old me is kicking my ass, actually. Come on. Come on, punch. Punch. Gotcha. Yeah, baby. Sorry. I just killed the old me. What are you doing here, <laughs> Uncle Death? <laughs> okay. All right, so... Hitification. If your fighter exhausts their HP in the game, they will die and be resurrected as an enemy. Oh, that's cool. Hitification and retrieval. When a fighter dies, they will transform into an enemy roaming around on the floor on which they met their demise. Such fighters are called haters. If you assume control of a new fighter and defeat the hater, they will retrie be retrieved and stored in the fighter freezer. If you let them be, they defeat another player the rewards will be sent to your rewards box. That's interesting, isn't it? All enemies with names displayed in orange are haters. They might be one of your haters. Or a hater that was once a different player. In either case, they are far stronger than most of the other enemies you will face, so watch out for them. Okay, it makes sense. So they're not, they're not a computer-generated or controlled. 
Okay, so... Let's keep going. And we will open up this door to get... Or I guess it's not really a door. I guess it's a door. It's like a cage door. Alright, so... Can I go up here? No? Okay, let's see. What's over here? I know something's going to be coming up around here somewhere. There is a hell of a lot of dead bodies. So, let's take this. I always put everything in my death bag. Because I don't really know what's in here. Just a whole bunch of more dead bodies. And I do hear something. Oh, look, at what's this little claw? Look at this. This is some sort of tractor thing that's got like big claws on it pick stuff up. What? I hear something. What? There's a frog over here. Beasts. Oh, you can collect these things, I think. There are a great variety of creatures besides enemies in this game. Not all of them are docile. Some will attack you, while others will emit poison. It is important for the player to use, uh, to make use of these beasts in order to survive. How to catch. So I gotta push L3. By pressing L3, you can crouch when you approach a beast in this stance, the capture beast icon will appear in the bottom center of the screen. When you see this icon, press X swiftly. Some uh, animals can be captured after you weaken them and stomping on them. Eating. Select the eat icon when you catch a beast to eat it. If you choose to store it in a death bag, the number of beasts in the your possession will be displayed in the flick box at the top right corner of the screen. You can flick on the beast you want to eat with the touchpad and consume it by clicking the right side of the touchpad button. I can hear him bottle, 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 making noises. Grilling beasts! You can cook beasts by grilling them. Select the beast in your possession you wish to grill and then click the left side of the touchpad button to switch it to throw mode. In this mode you can grill the beast by approaching a fire in the staging pressing X. So it's the same thing as like the mushroom. You can also grill the beast by facing the fire and throwing the beast toward it. Grilling beasts change the effect they will provide when eaten. So try it out. Some animals cannot be grilled. Sprouting mushrooms. Mushrooms will sprout from the corpse of the animal that you kill by stomping it. Stomping or by any other method. The type of mushroom that grows will depend on the type of animal. Alright, so I gotta crouch down. You fucker. Gotcha. So I'm gonna put this guy in my bag. He restores health. Now we'll see. What else we got going on? Jump up here. Oh, what's that? Oh, another frog. All right, let's get this. Let's get this frog too. Yes, I got you. That's right. And then what do we got here? Open this up, and there's a bunch of money. You have mail. What was that? I heard. I thought I heard something. I would love to not read, but let's just do that. Alright, so this is Mastery Level, Barb's Bible, Volume 22. Shows a whole bunch of uh, things up there. Oh, I'm like leaning really, really, really close to the screen and bringing myself completely out of vision. Alright, if you defeat lots of enemies with specific types of weapon, your Mastery Level with that weapon will go up. The maximum level is 20, and you unlock sub moves that will that you can use with L1 or R1, as well as new attacks and skill boosts. Acquiring ABP, ABP ability points will be awarded to the weapon which dealt with the final damage in defeating an enemy. Once you accumulate a set number of points, your mastery level will increase. Mastery L level not dependent on fighter. The mastery level of ABP points acquired are shared between fighters. Even if you switch to a low level fighter, you will still be able to deal attacks corresponding to your mastery level. Well, that's good. That's nice. Alright, so here's another frog. 
I should defeat this guy first. Is there more than one? I probably should have ate a frog. <laughs> what the hell? Where are you? Are you in pain? Of course, you did die after all. Yeah. I think dying is pretty awesome, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. Okay. I am in charge of insurance sales in the Tower of Barbs. My name is Kiwako Seto, and I work for Directel Insurance. Many people die in this tower in countless numbers of cruel and unusual ways. And we, at Direct Hell Insurance, are here to support those on the brink of death. <laughs> now, allow me to explain our insurance plan. Hey, how are you even crooked? Straight? What is that? Am I supposed to do something? Greetings from Hell! Direct Hell's death insurance! Okay, whatever. Super affordable. Put him back! My fault, though. These guys aren't very strong. But I fucked up because I didn't eat a toad. I didn't actually look at my at my health either. No, those guys didn't even harm me that time. But there's another guy here. Oh. Gotcha, homie. Oh. I want you. I want you. I, I put it in my death bag. I don't know where her death bag is, but she's got a death bag somewhere, and I think it's up her ass. Let's look at this. You obtain Paige Yatsuyama Bionics. Good. Whoa. I didn't know she could do that. That's cool. What's this? Three, two, one. What am I doing? Sounds like rock. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing. All right, maybe I was supposed to read this first. Shit. Stamps. There's always one stamp station on each level of the barb towels. You can stamp each one once into a stamp section under the Underworld Rolodex. Hold on, let me try that again. <laughs> you can stamp each one once into the stamp section of the Underworld Rolodex. It's possible to climb the tower without stamping, but we'll receive some rewards if you do. Once you access the stamp station, a stamp minigame will begin. Push X with the good timing to press in the falling stamps. Fuck! And then I fucked that one up. Oh well. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh! He's level 1 too. Oh! But he's got a weapon that I'm gonna get. No! Oh, it looks like he's got an iron actually. I'm just gonna kill this motherfucker real quickly here, like... No, you will not. And I will take that. Uh, we'll put this in my left hand. Right there. Thank you very much, sir! Bottle, bottle, bottle. And so now what we will do is we're gonna end this video now. And that is part two of Let It Die. And I'd like to thank everybody for watching me play this game today. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this game so far. And uh, if I could keep on... This motherfucker gonna kill me? He is killing me. What the hell? Well, I guess that maybe I am still playing. <laughs> Let me just kill this guy quickly. Yeah, because I thought that I could just uh, end the video right there because I'm going to be running out of time here. So, but I don't think he can beat me anyways. So there we go. Now we made it out of here.
It's pretty funny though. But I should put this in this hand now. There. I have one in each hand. So, I was pretty sure that I could just go back to the uh, end of the game and go back to the Talos Are you sure? Uh, yeah, sure, that's okay. So, because I'll just play it and then I'll get it back to that part and then we'll play for part three. So, I'd like to thank everybody again for watching this video. Uh, you guys comment in the section down below. Let me know what you guys think about this game. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be coming back on part three here pretty soon. So, uh, so far I think this game is, is pretty neat. It's, uh, there's a lot to it. More than I expected to it. So, that's pretty cool. So, if you guys, like to, uh, you guys... Yeah, this is like doing a bunch of weird shit now. So, maybe I can do this. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. Okay, everybody. Take care of yourselves. And make sure you guys please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the video down below. Take care. Alright, peace. Bye. Love ya. Peace. Love ya. Peace.